History of the Universe. All right, the top 10 most important moments in the history of the universe for human beings. Number one, the Big Bang. You need a universe to live in 13.9 billion with a B years ago. Number two, formation of the Earth. 4.6 billion with a B years ago. Look how much time I've already gone over. All right, number three, life on Earth. We need to be living, right? The first life on Earth about 3.8, 3.9 billion with a B years ago. Where does life start? In the oceans, right? It's an ocean-based thing for a very, very long time. It takes a long time for them to figure out how to get onto land. Think about how many creatures on Earth, what they're like. Like us, what are we? bags of ocean water. We're carrying the ocean around with us, okay? Number four, rise of mammals. So we have life go on for a long, long time, and then finally we get the mammal version of it. Now, mammals rise in the Mesozoic, during the age of dinosaurs, but once the dinosaurs die off at 66 million years ago, then you have the Cenozoic, the age of mammals, right? It's our time. So from 66 million years ago up until today, the age of mammals. Look around. Most large creatures you see on Earth are mammals. Okay, that brings us to number five, the rise of human beings in the mammal world, right? Where do you want to draw this line, you know, how old are humans? Uh, maybe maybe 200,000 years old for humans that look just like us, but we can stretch it all the way back to maybe five million years, or even a tick more, seven million years, if you want our earliest human ancestors that are separate from, from chimps and, and, the, and the other apes, right? So, so the, 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 the rise of our, our piece of the pie. And then in the formation of humans, I think bipedalism is a big deal with this, right? So as we become more like ourselves, the ability to walk on two legs. Number six, out of Africa. Now we evolve in Africa, but then there's a moment, oh, this is tough to say, one and a half million years ago, give or take. They push this number back all the time where human beings spread out from Africa finally and into the rest of the old world. Which brings us to number seven? Number seven? Number seven. Number seven. The Upper Paleolithic Revolution. This is where human beings, I like to say culturally, we put the icing on the cake of what it means to be human. What you're going to get here is really, really great stone tools and you're also going to get like symbolic thinking. You know, things like art are going to come at that time. When is the Upper Paleolithic, the upper Paleolithic Revolution? It depends, right? Oh, 50,000 years ago, give or take, depending on where you are. Uh, which, which brings us to number, number eight, uh, human beings getting into the new world. Now, this only happened maybe in the last 18,000 years ago or so. Very, very recent. Human beings coming in for the first time into North and South America. Now, there's some studies that suggest that it might have been a little earlier, as early as 40,000 years. I'm really curious to see what they're going to say later on with that. I'm really curious about the data, but for now, we're looking at a 20,000 years ago is when the first people came into the new world, which brings us to number nine, the Neolithic Revolution. Farming. Don't screw up the difference between the Upper Paleolithic Revolution, tools and art, and number nine, Neolithic Revolution, farming. And then of course, with farming, and, and the Neolithic Revolution, you get cities. They kind of they kind of go together. And finally, number ten, I would say the Industrial Revolution is it has 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 a huge impact on human beings. The Industrial Revolution, the use of burning gasoline and oil and this this kind of thing, and that also adds into it the the Anthropocene, which is the Industrial Revolution is maybe the last two hundred years, and the uh, Anthropocene maybe the last hundred years or so. The Anthrop Anthropocene being where we as humans are now controlling the destiny of the rest of life on Earth. So, hey, let's not screw that up.